Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the main wire harness assembly in your GE dryer, you will need a drill driver with a quarter inch bit, a number one square head bit, a number two square head bit, and needle nose pliers. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the power to the appliance. Unthread the screw on the back panel to remove the protective cover. Loosen the screws on the block terminal to free the power supply wires. Noting the orientation, unplug the yellow, red, and black wires. Feed them through to the inside of the panel. Unthread the five screws on the panel. Any missing screws can be ordered through the links in the description below. Pull out and lift the panel from the backsplash. Detach the ground wire. Unthread the two screws that secure the backsplash. Pull the backsplash back and lift up to free it from the dryer. Note the orientation of the wires. Detach the purple, brown, and red wires from the start switch. Now detach the red wire from the signal switch. Detach the purple, yellow, and red wires from the timer. Detach the blue, yellow, brown, and bottom orange wires from the temperature switch. Unthread the screw securing the resistor. Unthread the two screws securing both of the top panel plates. Detach the solid brown wire from the purple wire. Feed the wires through the panel. Unthread the two screws on the top of the panel. Then unthread the two screws under the lip of the door threshold. Lift the top panel from the appliance. Unthread the two screws that secure the front panel. While supporting the front, unplug the two wire harnesses.
Lift the panel off the three tabs and move it to a flat surface. Depress the pulley to release the tension on the belt and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. Use the belt to lift out the drum assembly. Remove the wires from the cycling thermostat, the safety thermostat, and the high limit thermostat. Noting the orientation, remove the blue and brown wires from the lower left side of the element and the purple wire from the lower right side. Unthread the four screws holding the heating assembly. and move it to a flat surface. Note the positions of the cycling thermostat and the safety thermostat and unthread the screws securing them to the housing. Unthread the two screws to remove the blower thermostat. Unthread the two screws that secure the side panel to the blower housing and base. Unclip and feed the light and door switch wires through the blower housing. Prop the dryer up to gain access to the retaining clip and pinch to remove it. Now, unthread the remaining six screws along the perimeter of the side panel. Lift the cover to slide the panel out. Slide the idler arm from underneath the retaining bracket. Lift the arm and slide the other end from the blower housing. Unplug the harness from the motor. Unthread the ground screw. Remove the wires from the retaining clip. Unthread the two screws on the dryer belt switch. Pinch and remove the four wire retaining clips on the back panel. Unthread the two retaining clips. Remove the harness from the machine. To install the new main wire harness assembly, 
Noting the orientation, unplug the thermostats from the harness. Rethread the two screws that secure the harness to the back panel. Reattach the two thermostats to the heating assembly. Align the element assembly with its four mounting holes and rethread the screws. Snap in the four retaining clips to the back panel. Feed the power block wires through the back of the panel. Rethread the two screws to mount the belt switch. Set the wire harness in the retaining clip. Rethread the ground screw. Plug in the harness to the motor. Insert the end of the arm in the blower housing, then place the arm underneath the retaining bracket. Make sure the idler arm is able to operate the switch. Snap the retaining clip in the bottom of the dryer. Mount and rethread the screws to secure the new blower thermostat. Plug the wires into the thermostat. Slide the four tabs into the base, then lift the cover and push the panel forward to set in place. Rethread the six screws along the perimeter of the panel. Feed the wires of the light and door switch through the blower housing and secure with the clip.
Now re-thread the two screws to the blower housing and base to secure it. Plug in the purple element wire. Then the blue and brown element wires. Plug the four wires into the cycling thermostat. Then the orange wires into the safety thermostat. And the purple wires into the high limit thermostat. Place the drum inside the dryer and line up the drum shaft and bearing with the bearing retainer on the rear panel. Make sure the belt is rib side down along the outside of the drum. Loop the belt around the tension pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Set the front panel on the three tabs. Then plug in the two wire harnesses. Push the panel forward. Then secure it with the two screws. Hook the back of the top panel and adjust until it's aligned. Set the panel on the appliance and feed the wires through. Rethread the two screws under the door threshold. As well as the two screws on the top of the panel. Reattach the solid brown wire to the purple wire. Slide the top plates into position and secure with the two screws. Set the resistor into position and rethread the screw.
Reattach the blue, yellow, brown, and bottom orange wires into the temperature switch. Reattach the purple, yellow, and red wires into the timer. Reattach the red wire into the signal switch. Reattach the purple, brown, and red wires to the start switch. Set the backsplash back into the dryer slots and push forward to lock in place. Rethread the two screws. Reattach the ground wire to the panel. Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the dryer. Rethread the five screws. Plug in the wires to the terminal. Reattach the power wires to the terminal and tighten the screws to secure. Position the protective cover and rethread the screw. Plug in the dryer. And your dryer should be ready for use.